Hey, so uh, if you're anything like me and a lot of your data uh, about your life is on Notion and then if one day you feel that you've lost all of this data and you want to prevent that horrible feeling <laughs> which just happened to me um, then you want to back up your data so I'm going to show you uh, only the two ways that I think are the most secure way to back up your data uh, periodically so that you have both an online copy that is really solid and another copy that is offline on your computer that is also uh, very solid that you can store on an external hard drive and you know backup for for the ages including all your images all of your PDFs everything that's included within this database so let me show you how to do that so this is my effectively my CV so I keep uh, I keep my CV organized in uh, in a database so at least I have uh, all key events, my personal detail, about the languages, like projects, uh, you know, diplomas, everything. Um, and so the way that I do it, the first is that I simply duplicate here. So I will simply click here, duplicate, and it will take a few seconds. Then I will have a copy of that, and then I would drag and drop that copy here in my private section, and I would just rename it with the date and uh, the backup of my timeline. And so there, it means that it's just going to stay the way the way it is, and uh, yeah, means that I can continue to work on this database. And if I collaborate with somebody else, and you know something falls through the cracks, uh, at least I know that it's there and it's safe. Second option, uh, you can actually go into uh, here, into the three little dots, and then you go into export. And so the one that I think is the best because it, it also downloads not only the code but also the attached or like embedded images and videos and everything is the HTML one and that's very important you want to include the sub pages and then you press on export so uh, it's gonna give you a dialog where it's gonna tell you you know you have to wait because it's exporting all of the all of the content and that may take a while and then it's gonna download all of this and depending on the size in my case my timeline was 1.6 gigabytes and so it took like 10-15 minutes for me to download I have a good good internet connection then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a folder that's gonna be uh, sorry uh, it's gonna be a zip file you can open it it will be uh, a file like this you can double click on this and you can see here uh, this is my local and what's really nice it looks exactly like the real like the real one if you will and you can completely navigate it and what's really cool is that you can you know see the full resolution images um, you know this is the, the full resolution image uh, from 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 the from the table and uh, you can also access it through a very nicely organized uh, table like this so if you sort it uh, let's say like this uh, if you sort it by type uh, by kind sorry then you could have all the folders and you can go in any folder and you could have uh, the images that are corresponding images so these are articles that I either wrote or that were wrote, written about me about my work and so it just makes it very easy to to find all this information so um, I hope that was useful so once you have this data you can you know you can just download it on your hard drive and uh, there you go then your data will be safe so you can just get this data and put it into a zip file put it into an XR hard drive and then your data is safe